played some pretty good running backs this month, including a healthy McCaffrey. Where does uh, Nall stylistically, how difficult is that to prepare for him compared to some of the other guys? He's a load. I mean, yeah, he um, uh, is very difficult to tackle. I think he's unique uh, among all those guys that you just talked about. Um, uh, you know, they, they do such a good job with the – misdirection and the in the fly sweep and and get him in a situation where uh it's him and either a db or a linebacker or somebody in an arm tackle situation and him versus an arm is usually a bad matchup for the arm so we've got to got to get you know get multiple bodies to him uh and account for him obviously in the in the run game first and foremost and then the fly sweep game uh is, is part of that bolden mcmary you know they they've, they're doing a nice job of of playing those guys off of one another right now Nall's an in-state kid. He made it sound like a lot of people thought he would play linebacker in college. Do you remember recruiting him, or, or what was that process like? Yeah, there's a couple guys there on that staff that we know really well, and, and uh, you know, they predicted kind of some other things for him as far as position, uh, but that's something obviously you never know until the guy's there and you work with him. Uh, but he's a versatile, you know, he shows exactly what he is, a big, versatile, versatile athlete. In the back. Offensively, do the Beavers do anything differently with now McMarion at quarterback rather than Garrett Center? Is the system pretty much the same since the switch? Um, it's pretty much the same. I mean, there's there's unique as, assets aspects to each one of those guys. Um, Seth Collins, you know, did had his unique skill set as well. Uh, I think they're they're uh, they're most productive uh, when they've got all three elements of it going. That the the fly sweep stuff, the pound it run game, and then the the play action pass off that. And they you know they did a great job of that against Arizona. Bariston. You've been a part of a lot of civil wars. Is there one year or one game that really stands out as one of your favorite memories? Um, <laughs> the first thing that popped in my mind uh, is probably not appropriate for uh, young viewers, but uh, the uh, the student section was chanting for the entire pregame warm up something at Marcus, which was hilarious it was awesome uh, i think they do a great job their crowd is is awesome uh and that that that, that was the first memory that popped into my mind um but th- no there's been some great games and and uh uh it's a, obviously a great great long-standing rivalry awesome. we'll have to go back and check the tape on that pre-game yeah. chant um <laughs> it, it seems like you've been able to kind of compartmentalize things a little bit over the course of this season where even when things weren't going well you were able to stay really upbeat where did you learn that uh, how did how did you come by that ability uh i don't know i don't know um i think you know any any job and certainly this one and uh, you know coaching in general for at every every level you have to compartmentalize everything you know because there's going to be sunny days there's going to be rainy days there's going to be everything in between and and uh uh, we have to be, we have to be, I've said it a thousand times, but we have to be in solution mode. We have to be in how to get it better mode, uh, you know, pointing out something's wrong or pointing out what might be wrong or, you know, fanning those flames. That's, that's very easy. Uh, it's difficult to, to, it is difficult to, to, to stay in that mode. And our guys, our players and our, our assistant coaches have done a great job of that. Scott? 